Welcome to ClickSeminars.Live. Keep learning, keep earning in 2020 and beyond. And now let's get ready for our next speaker session starting now. Hello, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome to ClickSeminars.Live. And for our next session this afternoon, 2 p.m. Central Time uh, in the U.S. and different time zones all over the world. Uh, I'm your host and MC for all week, uh, Mike Stewart, and I'm going to introduce the next speaker. Now, the next speaker is very near and dear to me. He's a fellow Tennessean, lives right here in Nashville. Uh, has been involved with audio and video pretty much his whole life. And that speaker is me. So I'm introducing myself. I'm getting ready to uh, share with you my passion uh, and what I believe to be the biggest set of uh, marketing opportunities in the world. Um, Tom Waugh and the uh, uh, Click Seminars team uh, had me speak on their stage years ago. Years ago, I was at the World Net Summit, and uh, that's how we, the relationship that we built years ago, and we were um, uh, led to the day of when Tom called me a few weeks ago and said, how can we make that experience that we did at the World Net Summit virtual and online? And that's what we've done here. This is uh, a virtual, what I'm calling a live and R. So anyway, uh, I'm going to be telling you a whole lot more about me in my presentation, but uh, let me go ahead and pull up my slides. And there you go. This is what I'm going to be talking about today. So I recommend that you um, uh, get your pad and paper out to get away from any distractions. And I want to tell you about uh, audio and video online marketing for today and even for many, many years to come. And the things that I'm going to touch on in this presentation are things that are really uh, important that you need to know about. Uh, building podcasts, uh, repurposed content marketing, in other words, bank a piece of content and repurpose it in a multitude of places all over the internet. Uh, how to make video sales. I was one of the uh, guys that invented what was called the VSL or the video sales letter. And then, of course, uh, the future which I believe is live streaming, what we've been doing all week here with ClickSeminars.Live. And then I'm going to teach you about something else that I call SERP music, S-E-R-P music, and so much more. So hopefully that's created your curiosity that you're going to want to know about all of these things that we're going to be touching on and going into detail. So let me tell you why I'm qualified to be your teacher. I just want to tell you a little bit about me, Mike Stewart, the Internet Audio and Video Guy. Number one, I have over 40 years experience in audio and video production. You know, I got involved with television and radio back in 1979, and uh, I am a music composer. And in fact, you can see there's a lot of pictures there of, of me doing music ever since I was in my 20s. Uh, I'm not in my 20s anymore, uh, but I have, you know, ever since I was 25 years old, um, I've been doing music, and I started in Atlanta, Georgia. And one of the things that you can see in my um, uh, room here is uh, my gold record. I was involved with a band in 1982. We had a hit record called Pac-Man Fever. Uh, I am a pianist. Uh, I uh, played on a, all kinds of major records in the Atlanta uh, jingles world and also in uh, working with Atlanta celebrities. Uh, and I'm known worldwide these days with a lot of the marketers as the internet audio and video guy. So basically what I did was I took my passion of recording audio and video and I brought it to the internet over 18 years ago. And I was one of the guys that pioneered what is commonly used by old marketers today called a video sales letter. Taking the information that was in uh, a website um, set of text and turning that information into a video. Um, one of the things I was proud to do because of my uh, work with Buckner Garcia at Pac-Man Fever was uh, we were asked in 2012 to record the theme song to the Academy nominated uh, cartoon movie from Disney called Wreck-It Ralph. So if you ever get to hear and see Wreck-It Ralph, we did the theme to Wreck-It Ralph. It's up on YouTube and you can hear it. And in fact, the computer that I am doing this presentation on is the very computer that we recorded Wreck-It Ralph on. Um, and we did that whole record over the internet. So Basically, anything you can imagine, you can do over the Internet. And we composed music, and we got it in a movie that was heard worldwide. But my passion now also is to help business owners, uh, owners all over the world understand the power of video and audio for the Internet. 
And all that experience led me today uh, to where you are today. Now, I want to tell you about a couple of those little pictures there. Um, there's me playing uh, bass guitar uh, for Ted Turner. Now, if those of you in the world that don't know who Ted Turner is, Ted Turner uh, was an Atlanta TV entrepreneur, and uh, Ted started WTBS, the Superstation in Atlanta, which turned into CNN and uh, the Cartoon Network and uh, world-famous television networks out of Atlanta. And that was the night I recorded the song for Ted Turner, which was called uh, I Was Cable When Cable Wasn't Cool. So that just shows you how long I've been doing music, how long I've been involved with television. In fact, when I started recording down in that bottom uh, right-hand corner of the screen there, that is what's called a four-track TAC tape recorder. In other words, it was like what the Beatles recorded Sgt. Pepper on, a four-track tape recorder. You could put a, uh, an instrument on one track. You could put a vocal on another track. You had four tracks. And nowadays, this the cell phone with has software that is far more powerful than that machine. That's what I learned on. Uh, it was a tape recorder. Now, digitally, uh, my phone... Uh, which cost one-third of what that machine did back in 1979, can do more than that machine ever thought about. So that's my background experience. But I want to tell you, tell you a little bit more about me and why you should listen to me. Uh, I have been speaking on advanced business blogging. And uh, one of the things I want to tell you about that, uh, you can go to YouTube and you can search advanced business blogging. And I have the number one video in the world for those three words. And in fact, you see the shirt there uh, that I'm wearing. This is the actual shirt that I wore that day. And what's special about that day is several important things that should matter to you. Number one, that was the most profitable day of my life, that first day. Uh, I did over $80,000 in sales from the stage uh, wearing this shirt and speaking on advanced business blogging. That's was something that was so important. Now that video has been up on uh, YouTube eight years and it was up originally on Google Video, which later Google uh, bought YouTube and they combined it. So that's why that video has been up on the line for over 12 years and there's only been, well, in fact, I'll, I'll give it here a little closer to you so you can see it. You can see advanced business blogging, Mike Stewart, there's only been 300, you know, not many views, you know. Um, and I'll tell you why that is so, because there's a reason. Number one, that was 14 years ago before iPhones existed, before tablets existed, before 4G and 5G internet connections existed, before broadband existed, before USB microphones, before fast computers. Podcasting uh, and YouTube were only about a year old each. And I was speaking on it because back then we called it advanced business blogging. And the reason it has so views is the world doesn't know advanced business blogging is what you need. So the, the point I'm trying to get across to you is just because people aren't searching for it doesn't mean it's important. So let me go on and, and let, let me tell you anyway. But this is how long and how long I've been passionate about these things and more importantly how long I've been wanting to teach people what's possible. So I'm going to be sharing with you uh, an opportunity to do what I do uh, in a continuing education offer and a done-for-you solution, but not until I teach you all that I've promised to do. So let me ask you, are you ready to learn about all these things I've shared with you? I'm going to look at the chat right now. And uh, yes, look there, Jeff says, 14 years ago, holy crap. And there's my good friend. Uh, thank you, David. And then, of course, here's... Uh, I did the, uh, yes, yes, we did that. I was part of that. I played on that as well. So are you ready? Let me know. I'm seeing it. People are ready already. Okay, good. Let's get started. We're going to get started with the presentation right now because I promise you I'm going to teach you everything about this so that you completely understand before I, I uh, uh, you know, talk about anything about doing, doing business. Because I'm not going to disappoint you. Every presenter has a way for us to do business. But I want to prove to you how important all of these things that you may or may not know are so that you know they exist. So here's what you're going to learn from me in this presentation. And I promise 
I will teach this to the best of my ability before I ever mention any way of us doing business. So number one, you need to know how far audio and video marketing has come online since I started. You got to remember, I started doing audio marketing almost 18 years ago. I was one of the guys that developed the uh, audio button uh, for um, Armin Morin. He, he uh, created Audio Generator with Rick Raditz as, uh, as an inspiration for my audio button. So we're going to go all the way back to the history because you learn from history. I want to let you know what worked then and still works today. Nor, nor more importantly, I want you to know what is streaming audio and video. And you really need to understand why you should care about streaming audio and video. What we're doing right now is streaming audio and video. This is television. So more importantly, I want you to know that really when I started, it was a whole lot more complicated. But now with nothing more than a, a cell phone, a high definition webcam, and a good microphone like this one right here, gets you to be pro audio and video, pro audio and video with, with an internet condition, commission, uh, connection and a computer, you can do it. And then you need to know what is content marketing. In fact, one of the things that I want you to be aware about content marketing, the day I wore this shirt, uh, I made an offer from the stage. And one of the guys that came up on the stage who's actually here in the audience is Jeff Herring. Uh, Jeff is a content marketer, co a colleague of mine. And I'll never forget, he came on stage, he got my offer, and that turned into a relationship that's been going together. And we've made hundreds of thousands, probably a million dollars together over the last 14 years. And that all started from him taking action. It's all about taking action. So we're going to talk about how content marketing with audio and video is so important, so important. And then you've probably heard of podcasting, but podcasting is the new blogging. And in fact, for, you know, 12 years ago, I was talking about podcasting and blogging as new media marketing. Well, guess what? It's still working today. And you're going to see why podcasting is the new blogging. And it is what's called pillar content to repurpose. In other words, do it once, make it be repurposed in a multitude of places. And we'll talk about how that works. And then why is YouTube a new Google? And it's an advertising opportunity with SERP music pre-roll ads. And you probably go, well, what is SERP music? What is SERP? And, and let's talk about it. You're gonna, I'm going to teach you and show you exactly what that means. And then, did you know there are more places on people's phones and cars and mobile devices, speaker devices, that's an Alexa, Google Home, cell phones, uh, dashboards of cars. There are more places for people to hear and see you than ever before. You know, I've got an Alexa Echo that plays YouTube videos, plays podcasts. People can tune you in, and when they tune you in, if they hear your SERP term earworm jingles, it is marketing that most people aren't doing, and we're getting amazing results with that with our clients. And why is streaming video the new webinar? I'm calling it a live webinar. You know, um, ever since the pandemic, ever since COVID-19 hit, uh, the world has become Zoom enamored. I mean, celebrities, television shows here in the U.S. are making their television shows with Zoom. And I'll tell you, Zoom may, like, may not like me saying this, but I think Zoom is a toy compared to what we're using and what we're doing. And I'll prove it to you. Zoom is great. There's nothing wrong with it, but it can't do what we're doing. We're doing streaming television. We have the ability to go to a full slide. We can go to just me, back to me, and we can go to a small slide or to a big slide, and we can have multiple guests. It is the switching that I just did there that makes this television-like. And the fact that it can multicast to multiple locations, and most importantly, my dot .live URL, that's why Zoom, GoToWebinar, and the other systems that are great, they don't compare to the new dot .live concept that we'll be teaching. And what is that dot .live strategy? Why do I think that's the future of online marketing and relationship building and content marketing? Well, you know, I could go all day on this, but, but I'll tell you what happened. Um, Tom Waugh called me and he said, I'm going to take, turn the uh, World Internet Summit into a virtual seminar. I said, great. I said, what are you going to call it? He says, I'm going to call it clickseminars.com. I said, 
Well, listen, let me show you my dot live strategy that I was building here in Nashville for the music industry. You know, live, th to me, this is like a live performance. This is, uh, imagine if this was a band or, an, uh, or a music uh, uh, group and we were just performing and then we're building a relationship with our fans. So I'm going to go into detail what I mean by the dot live strategies. And then I want to tell you about the secret toolkits, the formula, the ingredients that every a audio video marketer must have and use. And quite honestly, you can believe me or not, but I'm telling you right now, I'm using the very tools I'll reveal to you when we get to that area of the presentation. And then of course, I'm going to tell you why you need to start now and not when you get around to it. You know, so many people, and th this has broken my heart for many, many years. I see people get excited at seminars and they, and they buy programs from the speakers and then they go home and after two or three days, and I hope this isn't you, I don't want this to be you, but they go home, they take this information, they never log in, they never look at it, they don't do anything with it. And guess what? Nothing happens. It's not the uh, speaker's fault. It's not the training's fault. It's not that they didn't create something of value. Every bus person I've ever met, just like Jeff Herring, Jeff Herring bought my program 14 years ago and has built a huge business that he and I are still partners to this day, but it all started from him being like you who had to start somewhere. You know, as, as they say, the journey of a thousand miles starts with the first step, but you can't not be an action taker. So I'm looking for action takers. If you're not an action taker, then watch my information learn from me today and you you got choices you can do it do it and i'll tell you about those choices but we're not going to get to those choices until i teach you so are you ready for me to teach you these 12 key points about what audio video marketing is today and beyond and william says i am ready uh and i'm going to pull my mouse over here and william i'm ready to share with you uh i love it fiana so i'm going to do a little rock and roll right now here for you and let's get started on what's going on. So why is audio and video content so powerful? Well, it's been said that when communicating a message, people retain about 10% of what they read, 20% of what they hear, and 50% of what they hear and see. So when it comes to the internet, there's only three things that you can transmit over the internet. And that is text and graphics, you know, reading and seeing images, or listening, audio, that's radio, or podcasting, or seeing here, that's television. Now, people learn and remember in different modalities, but if it is true uh, by the gentleman who said uh, in that chart, uh, there's actually been some controversy over it, but the truth is I am an auditory learner. I can read something and I don't get it but I can hear it. In fact, it was from years ago. If you've never heard of uh, Napoleon Hill's Think and Grow Rich, it is one of the must-read books for success, uh, written by Napoleon Hill when he interviewed my, some of my heroes like Thomas Edison and Andrew Carnegie and some of the greatest industrial successful men of all time. He uh, talks about the mastermind principle and so many things that are important. And I read the book at the recommendation of a dear friend of mine, and uh, his name was Larry Latimer. He said, Mike, you need to read Napoleon Hill's Think and Grow Rich. I read it three times and nothing clicked. But then I got the audio. I listened to the audio and it made more sense. I listened to it one time. You know, I used to do book reports when I was a kid by watching the movie because I could read the book and not comprehend it. But when I saw and heard the visuals and heard the sound and all the elements of television, I got the message. So is that you're communicating your business? Is that communicating your offer? Is that communicating building a relationship? Listen, audio and video content is so much power is so powerful. So why not, you know, uh, when you're not making audio and video content and you're only using text to convey your uh, uh, message over the internet, you're missing a huge percentage of people conceiving and also comprehending of what you're teaching or what you're saying or what you're selling. So if you expect to make money, you know, in fact, I heard several speakers talk this week, you need a video sales letter. You need to have a video on your landing page. That's just saying television. What we're doing right now is what makes it so much easier for people to remember and hear. 
Now, when radio and television started before the internet, uh, radio was invented in the 20s, and television was invented in the 30s and 40s, and because of World War II, television didn't really come into being until really until the 50s. So look at those pictures of those radio stations and those television stations back when they were in their infancy. Uh, they were expensive. They were complicated equipment. They were complicated broadcast skills. Uh, it, you had to have, in America, and I'm sure in other countries, you had to have a government license to broadcast. Uh, it was expensive to get an FCC license. Uh, employees, engineers to create content, producers, talent. Uh, and then you, to make money, you need a sales team that would sell TV ads. Uh, the truth was, if you were an individual, it was virtually impossible for you to be on radio and television. There's just, there was no way. Only a select few people who had the connections in the major areas like New York or Los Angeles in the United States or London for the BBC and in probably any part of the world, there were broadcast centers. And if you didn't have the connections and the agents and the relationships, you weren't going to be able to broadcast your message. So radio and television before the Internet was not for the individuals. And you can see it was hard. I mean, I don't know if I could run that equipment, but I'm running this equipment here because it's so easy. And it's the same thing. What I'm doing right now, switching to, to, this, to this image, bringing the slide full screen, and then just going back to me to where I can look you in the eye and talk to you, that's television. And the technology that is available for everyone is here now. It's here today. You don't need this equipment. You have the ability to broadcast to the world. So how has streaming changed broadcast? How, you know, streaming, the Internet, has changed the old paradigm of radio and TV forever. So what does that mean for us? Well, let's do a little bit of more history here so you understand the principles. Because everything I'm teaching today is based on broadcast principles that were established, you know, almost a hundred years ago with the invention of radio and then, you know, 80 years ago when the invention of television. When I was a kid, back in the 60s, there was only three television networks in America. Now, I don't know what you had in other parts of the country, but I have to relate to my own personal experience, which was America. We had NBC, we had CBS and ABC. And um, as a joke, Jeff Fox used to say, and when the president's on, He's on every channel. We're going to miss Flipper. I mean, it was just one of my favorite jokes of all time. It was true. It was like live television or television that was broadcast at a schedule. And if you missed it, you had to wait for the summer reruns, meaning they might play it again. But if you didn't come in uh, when it came on, you missed it. And then in the 70s and 80s, Cable TV, HBO was one of the first cable networks, pay television. And, of course, a pioneer in Atlanta was WTBS, Ted Turner, CNN. You know, but that was still radio and television that you weren't going to get on, even though it was getting more channels. I remember Bruce Springsteen had a song called 500 ch 50 Channels and Nothing's On. I mean, we've got more places to watch. It's really uh, amazing how many places there are to listen and watch. But that was it. But what has happened in the last few years since the Internet? Streaming. These are the biggest streaming networks in the world. And it's interesting to me that those big uh, major networks like NBC and CBS and ABC and Turner, they allowed Internet pioneers to realize that the future of radio and television was Netflix. So and Prime Video, and Hulu, and radio is Spotify. Radio is, is all there is. I mean, you can ask any young person, do they listen to the radio or do they listen to Spotify? You know why these streaming technologies have become so big and what it means to us? Well, I'll tell you what it really means to us is, number one, we can get in Spotify. We can get our television to our viewers. You know, basically what it means is, the phenomenon of reaching your audience, broadcasting worldwide like I'm doing right now, but more importantly, uh, the phenomenon of people can watch live or they can watch when they want to. And it created another phenomenon that we're going to go into more detail about binge watching. So let's go back when I started. There is the audio and video of 2005, 15 years ago, before YouTube. 
before podcasting was even. I remember I typed the word podcasting in Google, and it said, did you mean broadcasting? And you probably don't even know why it's called podcasting, but I'll tell you that in a minute. But back in those days, I remember sharing with my friend there, Jim Edwards. I said, Jim, do you realize you can make a sales letter on a um, sales page of a website? Because Jim had made fortunes in ClickBank with text only, writing amazing sales copy. And he's still a great sales copywriter. But I said, you can do the same exact thing taking a cheap video camera and recording a sales video and putting that at the top of the web page and then write your regular headline and your regular other sales copy like you always did. And he said, oh my gosh, I showed this to my inner circle. And he said, how in the heck did you do that? How did you put that video on your web page? And of course, it was, it was, it was hard back in those days. Uh, but more importantly, um, we did it. We did it with antiquated equipment. In fact, the biggest question I used to get was, what camera do I use? And I used to say, a camera you know how to turn on. That was, the, that was a picture of my camera that I shot that sales letter with uh, in a hotel room at the big seminar with me and, uh, me and Jim. We were in a hotel room there, and we set up my camera, and we created a sales video sales letter, probably one of the first ones in the world, and we put it, sent it to traffic, and we did a half a million dollars of website video secrets back in 2005. That's what put me on the map. And then when I told Armin Morin about how I use audio buttons on my websites, he said, you need to make a piece of software that can do that. And I said, well, Armin, I don't know how to make software. He said, huh, well, that's a great idea. And that became a million-dollar product, Audio Generate. That's how audio streaming was done in 2005. It was very limited. Broadband wasn't here, but it worked. This is where the science comes from. So what, what's, what do you have today, 15 years later? Well, let me tell you what you have today. You have... Spotify, Google Podcasts, you have Stitcher, you have Apple Podcasts, and you have the very thing we're using right now, YouTube Live Stream and Facebook Live. In other words, you can broadcast to the world for free if you know what to do. And that's what we're doing right now. We're broadcasting to the world using these backbones that are available for free. Now, there are corporate solutions out there that cost a lot of money, but now the opportunity is for pennies to build live streaming television and help the world see your video messages. So that's how streaming has changed it for you and I. Back when it was uh, started, no way you could do it. Now it's available to those that take action. So what worked when radio and TV began? How did they make money? You know, that's what you're here today. You know, I'm not going to show you uh, a whole lot of uh, different, you know, I could show you people and, and, and checks and so forth, but let's talk about how you make money with your radio and television content. Because just remember, radio is now podcasting, TV is now live streaming and YouTube. You build content that builds an audience. That's content marketing. The content better be great. Number two, television had to go out and get a sales team to say, we have a, we have a show, we have a, a, a program, and if you want to reach our audience, you can pay us money and we'll run commercials. We will be a sponsor. And in fact, that's how television and radio started. So you sell sponsors to add and to, to monetize the production to, and to make a profit. And that was the model of radio and television for years and years. And to this day, this is still how they think. You know, build a huge audience, get great ratings, and go out and sell sponsors. Okay? Then, from the sponsorships and the money that they get, you have to have a production buzz, budget, you have to build an audience through advertising, and you have to have audio and video technology. But that audio and video technology that allowed all of that to happen in the beginnings of radio and television was controlled by the networks like ABC, CBS, and the early ones, or local broadcaster affiliates, somebody who owned a radio or television station. And that's still true today. But the point was, there was no way for you or I unless we went through the channels and we lived in the right place in the world. If you're, you know, uh, most of the people successful in radio television, you know, uh, a lot of the radio people like Jack Benny and uh, um, Lucille Ball and, and a lot of the TV shows that uh, were the 50s were just old radio shows. If, you know, back when my dad was a kid, they used to listen to programs 
on radio through the radio networks. So it was a very closed network that if you weren't a part of it, there's no way you could be in it. Not so today. This is what's available to you right now. Number one, still the same thing. You got to create content that builds an audience and relationships, but it doesn't have to be broadcast. It can be narrow cast. It can be to uh, just a small group of people. It could be to a niche. It's, in other words, to make CNN profitable or to make CBS profitable, they have to have millions and millions of viewers. We are making six figures off of a thousand targeted audience. And I'll share that with you later about our podcast with my good friend Hal Coleman. But here's the difference. When you build an audience through audio and video and email marketing and all the other things you've learned this week, you refer listeners and viewers to products and services from which you can profit, whether it's your own products, whether it's your own coaching, it's with your own services, it, anything that you can do digitally, affiliate m marketing, shippable products, that's the model. It's not, not going out, you know, a lot of podcasters, uh, I think, make the mistake of trying to go get sponsors for their podcast, like in radio. That's not the way I do it. The way I do it is I build an, a targeted audience and then I refer them to the things that are my products and services or affiliate products and services. And then production, access to an audience is all through the internet. Audio and video podcast technology is nothing more than a cell phone, a webcam, a good microphone, and a fast internet connection, and a good computer, and creativity. But content, uh, uh, co create content a niche will engage with and remind them how to do business with you. That's the formula that's available to those who will take action. So anyone willing to create audio and video content can reach a market and advertise their products and services. I'm living proof of it. Just yesterday, somebody who listens to my podcast called us and has set up an appointment to do thousands of dollars of business. So I'm just telling you, this, you're looking at the formula that you have to take action and do. So what is content marketing with audio and video? Well, content marketing is creating keyword-rich content in the places that you can pepper it on the Internet. This is based on Gary Vaynerchuk's psychology of, of content marketing and repurposing. But I'll tell you my definition of content marketing with audio and video. Recording, editing, and sweetening MP3 audio files for podcasts and online streams. That is making audio content and then configuring it and getting it everywhere. Shooting and editing video or, uh, uh, or screen capture video like with Camtasia and archiving that video as HTML5 video or putting it up on YouTube. I mean, there are people on YouTube that are making fortunes being YouTube stars and nothing else. That's hard to do, but this is something everybody can do. So that's video content, that's audio content. And then number three, what we're doing right now, you know, we are doing live video. When this video is done, there's no editing. It's done. It's live. It's finished. It's quick. You know, one of the things that excited me about live television is I used to, I was a big fan of late night television in America. I used to go to New York. Uh, I had a friend that worked on the David Letterman show. And those guys were such pros, they would come out at 4.30, and at 5.30, that show was done. And it would air at 11.30 that night. In other words, they had it down to a science that they knew how to go live and be done because they had to do it all over again tomorrow. Music, bits, comedy, they had their form. It's the same principles. Going live is faster, and live streaming can be multicast. Right now, we're going to two YouTube channels and two Facebook uh, locations, and we're streaming to our own website. We're going to five locations simultaneously last right now, but when this show is done, there's no editing. There's nothing. It's just getting it done and being done with it, and the, the, the Gary Vaynerchuk uh, process is be everywhere with repurposing and transcribing your content. Now, how do you make content? You either write presentations like I've done, or you interview an expert. You can have guests. There's all kinds of ways to quickly and easily make content to be repurposed. So this is just content marketing. Um, the, the, there's two ways of getting found on the Internet that really work today. 
and it's content marketing and paid advertising. And we're going to talk about all those things. Um, search engine optimization, I, you know, the minute you figure it out, Google changes it. But content, great content, content people, you know, people ask me all the time, uh, can you help me with my social media? And I say, are you making media worth being social? The truth is, it's about, is your content relevant, helpful, and then you remind people how to do business with you. So like I told you, what do you need to do to produce this? You know, when I started, you know, you had to go buy a camcorder. You, had, you know, the biggest problem people had was they couldn't figure out how to get the video off the camera into a video editor. I, I, I built courses on that. Um, you know, how do you capture the video that you shot with your camera? And they actually built a piece of software years ago that a lot of people use that would allow you to basically turn your camcorder into a webcam. Nowadays, you know, a webcam, uh, a Logitech webcam, like the one you're looking at there, uh, you know, what was interesting, the price went up during COVID, but they used to be around 100, 120 bucks. They're, these cameras are what people are doing not national broadcast television with. Uh, all the news channels are interviewing people through Skype. Um, all the late night TV shows, because they're locked down, are, sh are interviewing their celebrities over webcams. The cameras are amazing. The quality is good. There's not a better camera in the world than your cell phone. There's not a better editor in the world than iMovie or PowerDirector on the Android. And of course, I'm a big fan of having a good studio microphone. You can use the microphone built into the uh, a webcam, but when you own a $100 good microphone, that's the... Um, the Yeti, uh, you can get them on Amazon. And pretty much of these things are at Amazon. They're at music stores. I've actually seen them in office supply places. But that's all you need, technology. Now, one of the other things I do is I, I tell people, I'll show you up here a little tour of my studio. There's my microphone. In fact, you can see here, I'm actually my director today. But I have a little light panel. It's good. You need to put a little light on your face so you're not dark. Now, I do a lot of music here. You can see here's my music studio. Uh, but at the same time, the thing I'm trying to share with you, it's not expensive equipment. You don't need all the stuff I've got. That's because I compose music. But uh, bottom line is, that's all you need. That's all you need right there. Now, what's possible when you master audio and video content? Well, number one, there's two types of content you want to make. Content to promote your business, and, and premium content that you get charged money for. Now, here's the things that I do that you could do. Number one, the biggest lead generator for my business is my podcast with my partner, Hal Coleman. In fact, I'm getting ready to start a new podcast uh, next week, and I'm going to have Jeff Herring as one of my guests. Who knows? Maybe one of you could be a guest on my uh, live, dot live podcast. Uh, videos. YouTube uh, videos are a great way to generate traffic. You get a video that starts getting a lot of views, there are ways to promote your websites, your products, your services. And then social media content. I mean, it's one thing to go live with a cell phone. It's another thing to post a picture. It's another thing to pull up the Facebook app and, uh, and post something. You know, I'm on Facebook here on the phone all the time. But it's another thing to have helpful content in social media because when you create helpful content and then remind people how to do business with you, you could get a customer from social media. And then, of course, if you boost it and you buy ads, all the big guys, uh, the Ryan Dices, the Russell Brunsons, all these huge marketers, they all buy lots of ads everywhere. And then, like Jeff teaches, articles on Medium. If you don't know about Medium.com, write that one down, Medium.com. That's where I'm posting my podcasts, and I get paid when people listen to my podcasts on Medium. So there's strategies to promote myself. Video reviews, um, you know, getting people to give you testimonials and so forth. And then Roku channels and Fire Stick channels. Did you know everybody can ha archive their live streams as Roku and Fire Stick channels? Everybody's welcome. It's so easy to be able to do that. And then, of course, one of the things that I'm doing is audio and video ads. I create television commercials for YouTube for myself and my clients, and those are the ways I promote myself with audio and video content. And I do audio ads in Spotify, and we'll talk about that shortly, the places that you can put audio ads. And I produce those right here in this equipment. 
Now, what do I sell? Training products, how to do things. I create screen capture videos, training videos, demonstration videos. I put those videos in membership sites. I used to sell DVDs and audio CDs. I don't anymore because I like keeping everything digital. I don't have to ship anything. I don't have to, um, you know, when you're doing things internationally, you can sell a membership site anywhere in the world and you don't have to ship with uh, the customs issues. <coughs> and and um, you might have to look into all the other logistics. Uh, you know, I don't want to ship anything anymore. I used to ship microphones, DVDs, and all those physical products. I just choose not to, but there's nothing wrong with that. There's a lot of people that make money with that, but I do membership sites. I create trainings, and I sell passwords to the world. And then, of course, I sell my products with video sales letters. Here's another opportunity that I'm working on. Audio and video embedded Kindle books. You know, you heard Ty Cohen talk about how the Kindle market. I'm going to get with Ty and talk to him about, you know, you can sell video and audio content inside of a Kindle book. We're doing music that way. We had a very successful project a couple of weeks ago selling our Pac-Man Fever. In fact, you can look here behind me. I don't know if you can see it. I'll make the screen a little bigger and you can see it. You ought to check this out in, uh, in Amazon. That book right there, the one up there that says Pac-Man Fever, that is our Kindle book that is not just a, a book. It's the music. We actually embedded the music in the book, and we're selling music through Kindle. As uh, you know, and it's something I'm working on here in Nashville. Audiobooks could be uh, sold on exe.com. You create an audiobook. You take your Kindle book, your written book, and you turn it into an audiobook. So books, trainings from transcriptions, teaching sites like Udemy and Skillshare. There's so many ways that you can take audio and video content and turn it into profit-building businesses. So let's talk about podcasting, and I want to tell you why podcasting is so important to me. Uh, there are two of my heroes, Pat Flynn and Seth Godin. You ought to Google them. Um, but Pat is a multi-million dollar um, podcaster. He speaks at all the social media sites. Pat is um, uh, started a podcast eight years ago. Uh, and Pat actually displays how much money he makes. And the, the majority of his money he makes is his own products and affiliate sales. Very little from sponsorships. That's kind of where the inspiration I got for what I do in my podcast. But Pat uh, has the Smart Business Podcast. You ought to it's a great podcast to learn. It's absolutely free. And he interviewed Seth Godin. And if you've never heard of Seth Godin, uh, you should uh, um, Google him. Seth is one of the biggest marketers in the world. And Seth was quoted recently as saying, podcasting is the new blogging. Now, when I got started, 50, you know, 18 years ago, I remember when Armand Morton says, dude, you need to blog. And I go, what's a blog? And he said, it's WordPress. He said, don't use Blogger. Don't use, uh, uh, you know, there was something called TypePad back in those days. He said, use WordPress. We're all using WordPress. I said, okay. I said, why do I want to blog? He said, because your content gets indexed in Google. And when you blog and ping, you will get free traffic. So, that was 18 years ago, and that's why I said, oh, well, if blogging is content marketing that gets me new uh, traffic, then podcasting can do the same thing. Well, podcasting is now exploding because of Spotify, Google Podcasts, um, and Apple. Um, and if Seth Godin says podcasting is the new blogging, you better believe it. So all podcasting is is just recording great content and getting it up on a WordPress website. It's not that hard, but it just takes effort to do it. But if blogging was so important 18 years ago, podcasting is the new blogging, according to Seth Godin. So here's my podcast, the one, the one that I pay the most attention to. That's my partner, Hal Coleman. Uh, he's the pest control expert, not me. Uh, I'm a marketing guy, but we've been friends for many, many years. And I told, uh, told uh, Hal three years ago, I said, we need to start a podcast for the pest control industry. And he said, what's a podcast? Why should we do that? And I said, well, let's just, just don't worry about it. It's real easy. I'll, I'll handle it. All you got to do is just be the expert, and I'll put the whole thing together for us because it's, it's easy for me. And let's see if we can build an audience in the pest control industry. Well, you can see our latest episode there. We were uh, able to interview the owner, not the owner, but the editor of the biggest 
trade magazine in the pest control industry, PCT Magazine. Dan Moreland is the editor. And do you think that got us a whole bunch of new listeners? We've done about 85 podcasts. We do three a month. We do them in a day. And they're averaged between 15 and 20 minutes. And I'm telling you, I got a call yesterday. I've been listening to your podcast. I want to talk to you about how I can spend money with you. I mean, every week the phone rings. Hal has built his coaching program totally from this podcast. We're in Apple. We're in Spotify. We're in Google. We're uh, in Stitcher. We're everywhere. We're in Facebook. We're in YouTube. And in fact, when the, the podcast gets done, the next thing we do And all the podcast is, is just an interview between he and I. We have a theme song, we have an interview, we have a commercial midpoint, and then we have a close that tells people how to get in touch with us. We give out our phone numbers on the podcast. I want people to call me. So then there is a piece of software that just came out recently called Repurpose.io. And I hook up my podcast from my website to this software And it creates videos that get repurposed in Facebook, YouTube, and LinkedIn. In other words, I don't do anything. This software takes what we created in a matter of minutes and puts it everywhere. And now people are listening to our podcast in YouTube. They're listening to our podcast in our LinkedIn groups, in our Facebook groups. They're sharing it with their friends. This is the concept of content marketing from an audio file and then... The other thing I do is I put it to otter.ai, the podcast, and transcribe it, and then it becomes text. So in other words, you get the concept here. What took a few minutes to make turns into more content to repurpose. That's, That's why podcasting is so important to be doing. Now let's talk about YouTube. You know, a lot of people say YouTube is videos, and it is. But YouTube is a search engine. You know, if you go to YouTube and type in how to, you can see that how to uh, um, change an air filter, how to title eBay listings, uh, how to use, uh, you know, just people are looking for information. Just like, so YouTube is a search engine for people looking for video information. (coughs) And if they find your video and you give them an ability to find you, they can do business with you. So think of YouTube as not as videos, but as a search engine that you want to get rank high for, like David Cavanaugh talked about the other day. But there's other things that most people leave out of YouTube videos. This was something, this was our Pac-Man Fever project. Um, As you can see there, this was a video that we did with Pac-Man Fever. That's me playing music and sharing my love of the Beatles. But those are called, these are free for people who have optimized channels in YouTube. Those are called iCards. And that is a direct link inside of our video to Amazon to buy our book. In fact, we've got uh, those uh, cell phone holders, the uh, Pac-Man Fever cell phone holders, and we're selling those things that pop up during our YouTube videos. And that's absolutely free inside of YouTube. So we're using the fun stuff of the music here, but we're marketing by putting linking people to things that make us money. That's the same strategy. If we hadn't made a video, we wouldn't be able to do this. Now, this is how we ended our videos. And this is really, really important in video when you, when you make video content. You want to do what's called YouTube end cards. And this is how we do our end cards. We program people to go to the next video, and we also tell them, to subscribe to our channel. The more subscribers you have, the better your numbers. But we also end all our videos with a QR code. Let me tell you about that. That is an end card QR code marketing strategy. Uh, Within the last year, um, all the camera manufacturers made it so that you don't need a QR code app anymore. And in fact, I'll show you what happens here. All you have to do, and in fact, if you got your cell phone and you're watching this, all you do is look like you're going to take a picture, like you're going to take a picture of the, um, of the QR code. And all you do is you hold it, and the minute you hold it to the screen, the link to Amazon pops up on the phone. Now, I'm, I'm in airplane mode. It doesn't work but I, uh, for right now, but I can turn it off. But we have it so that people can use their cell phones 
and find and get directly driven through video to our offer that makes us money. Now, here is a huge opportunity. If you don't know about this, it's called YouTube pre-roll ads. And you have to be able to make you, uh, video content to be able to play in this arena. But what are YouTube pre-roll ads? Well, number one, it's you ever been to YouTube and a commercial comes on and then it gives you that skip the ad button there. That's a YouTube pre-roll ad. Now, there's lots of different types of YouTube ads, but more importantly, um, the skipping opportunity. Well, 90% of the people skip the ad. And if they skip the ad, you don't pay. But here's what we found is a huge opportunity with this opportunity of skipping ads. Now, in the YouTube targeted ads world, you've got what's called display ads. And that's when you're, you're going to uh, add. It has nothing to do with Google. It's only YouTube. And display ads show up there with the red box on the right corner. And overlay ads are banner ads that pop over and are clickable on YouTube videos. But the skippable ads are the ones that I like the best. I mean, the, uh, the, the non-skippable uh, yeah, ads. Non-skippable means people are forced to watch it, and they cost more. You can do those as well. I know people are very successful with that. And then there's bumper ads, and then there's sponsored iCards. But here's what I like about the skippable video ads opportunity. This is what we've been doing with local businesses. And also, this is a, a money-making opportunity with video content creation and, more importantly, um, uh, uh, something you can do for local businesses. We're doing this in the pest control world. Uh, and this is what I call a SERP term jingle. And, of course, what we do is, and I'm going to explain to you what SERP terms are and what earworms are here in just a minute, because it's an audio term, but we have a singer sing the SERP terms of the business, then the benefit of their product and their phone number. And what happens is markets, you, local markets or even worldwide markets, hear this earworm jingle even if they skip the ad, whether it's locally or worldwide. If they skip the ad, they hear the SERP terms, the benefit, and the phone number for free. So this is a huge opportunity in a market. Now let me show you this, this particular one. Let's talk about SERP term earworm jingles. A SERP term is search engine results pages. What, what people type into Google and the page that comes up. Now, we all want to be ranked number one for uh, generic terms like Nashville roofer or uh, uh, internet marketer or video expert. You know, those are generic terms going to be tough for that to happen you know it'd be great if it did i'm number one in the world for advanced business blogging but nobody knows that everything i've been talking about is advanced business blogging but they're not searching for that so i have to get people to search the terms that i do rank for well a serp term that you rank number one for could be the name of your business um it could be your web address um there's everybody probably has some words that if people searched it in Google, they would rank number one. The main thing is, the main component of a SERP uh, is the listing of results that are returned by the search engine in response to a keyword query. So what we started doing is that we started saying if we sing the SERP terms with lots of repetition in a market, a targeted market, which we can reach through audio advertising in YouTube, Spotify, and all these places, we will teach the market to remember the words. Now, what is an earworm? An earworm is when you hear a musical melody in words 20 times, you can't get it out of your head. In other words, uh, your te it becomes a subconscious phenomenon that, you know, you ever remember saying, I can't get that song out of my head, I can't get those lyrics out of my head, I can't get those words? That is what an earworm is. And if you get people stuck in their head, your search terms, then when somebody says, well, who is a who's a pest control agency here in Waco, Texas that I sh I could uh, um, you would recommend? Well, Google GGA Pest Management. See their SERP terms are GGA Pest Management, GGA Pest Management, and so the lyrics go Google SERP, uh, Google GGA Pest Management. Leave your bug problems behind. Call two five four six 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 three four three nine. In fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to play you and let you hear this SERP term jingle 
that has been getting thousands of results in YouTube on cell phones. So here it is. Let you hear it. Google GGA Pest Management. Leave your bug problems behind. Call 254-666-3439. So that was the GGA SERP term jingle. Now let me show you the results for very little money that these this, this business got in just Waco, Texas. We ran this ad in just a 50-mile radius of the city of Waco, Texas. And this is how many people listen to the whole commercial in a year. Over a quarter million people listen to this jingle and the ad for pay. Now, remember, I told you only 90% ten, uh, ten, of the people skip it. We had almost a million skips, but they still heard the SERP term jingles in a 50-mile radius. Wouldn't you like or your customer like to be able to hear somebody's SERP terms? Now, what happens when you put in SERP terms in Google? I told you the SERP terms are Google GGA Pest Management. That's what happens. You can see there. If you put that in Google anywhere in the world, SERP terms, if you teach a market your SERP terms, you will dominate the first page of Google for those terms. You got to, most businesses, mine is websites you control, internet audio. I've got a lot of SERP terms, but I'm teaching my market on a subconscious level using music to remember how to find me. There's massive opportunities to do this for your own business and also to do it for other people as a service. That all hinges on making audio and video content. So where can you get into the ears and subconscious of your future covenant? Where will they hear SERP term jingles? Where are the places that they can hear it on cell phones? Well, number one, YouTube. Think of YouTube as a search engine where you can advertise audio and video commercials. Audio Go. Audio Go will distribute your audio commercials in a non-skippable format to Pandora, uh, all the major millions and millions of listeners, people are listening. They're not listening to the radios. They're listening to their cell phones. They're listening on their uh, speaker devices. Audio Go will get your commercial. And if you advertise an offer and your SERP terms, then people will remember how to say, Siri, go to websites you control. Facebook, you can run video ads with SERP terms in Facebook. I know all the big marketers are running video ads in Facebook. Spotify, you go to the Spotify ad studio. There's millions of users that don't pay for the service that it's ad supported. So you, your audio ad can go into Spotify and for pennies a listen. And then I put my SERP term jingles in my own podcasts. If you listen to the Pest Control Marketing Podcast, we have a jingle. We do jingles for other um, uh, pest control agencies because we want the SERP terms embedded in the subconscious of our customer. Google Podcasts, Pandora, Amazon Alexa, and then the next opportunity, the dot .live concept. That's another place to run SERP term jingles. So let's get into that. Now I'm going to take a drink of water, and I'm just curious. Uh, you know, I haven't been badgering you, but I'll tell you what. I know there's people here. Go to the chat box and just let me know. Are you liking what you're hearing so far while well, I take a drink of water? I'm going to give it a second. It takes a second or so for the chat to get here. Let me know if you're enjoying the content somewhere. I know that uh, Alexander said, um, let's roll. Thank you, Alexander. Just want to make sure that you're out there. I know I can see you're here, but I just want to get a little feedback. Make sure that you're still on the page with me. They're coming in now. Great, great. Awesome. So let's talk about how I believe live streaming is the new webinar and video sales letter. Um, I own... Thank you. Excellent. Very interesting. Great. Lots of ideas. Uh, here's we're, get, we're getting great feedback. Thank you. Fiona, loving it. Okay, awesome, awesome. All right, get back to your notes and piece of paper because we've got a whole lot more here I want to share with you. So live streaming is the new webinar. 
It's the new video sales letter. But the difference is um, I want people to remember my channel, my network. You know, we'll get into that. You know, when I was a kid in television, it's, it's basing on television uh, principles. But the difference is I'm surrounding my scheduled live streams with my products and services. In other words, it's my television network, and the only advertiser is me. And I'm doing it at a dot .live URL, which is, you know, I wanted MikeStewart.com, but I can't get it. The reason I can't get it is a surfer guy. If you go to MikeStewart.com, it's a surfer guy out of California. He's, you know, legit, he's really named Mike Stewart, and I'll never be able to own MikeStewart.com, but I own MikeStewart.live. So, when Tom called me and said he wanted to do clickseminars.com, uh, and they were considering using Zoom, um, and I said, well, I think there's a, a different and a better way, and here's why. That you want to build a channel. You want to build a network like television. And I think you do that on a dot .live URL. Why dot .live? Because it tells you you're going live. And so he immediately, Tom responded immediately. He said, I love it. And he went out and he owns clickseminars.com, but he also owns clickseminars.live. It's where we do the seminar live. And I said, one of the things that I like about this, and if you think about it, it's a WordPress landing page. If you're watching me right now, um, and I'm over on this computer over here, I'll, I actually show you. I'm monitoring myself over here. There is the landing page that I'm streaming to. But I'm also streaming to all of the other social media areas like YouTube and Facebook, but I'm streaming to my channel. And what we're doing is we have the ability, if people want to do business with us, that they don't have to look. The buy button will appear under the video when the offer is made. So at the end of the day, think there's, there's Armin's landing page, which, by the way, you should if you haven't heard Armin's pre presentation... He's uh, one of the most brilliant marketers in the world. You need to listen to you need to listen to all the speakers, but but I'm I have an affinity to Armin. Armin's a very dear friend, and and he has really embraced video, um, and that's probably because of me and and me because of him. But here's what I like about this concept: attendees don't need software downloads or apps to view. You know, Zoom and GoToWebinar, you have to either download an app on your phone or your tablet, or you have to download a piece of software, and you can't embed Zoom or go to webinar on your channel, your website URL. You can't surround your video stream with the things that make you money. And the other thing is when the video is done in Zoom or done in GoToWebinar, you have to wait and then you have to download it and then you have to um, you have to repurpose it on your landing page and then you have to email people to go not with this. When I get done, the video replay is on the landing page that you're on right now. So that's why I like this. When the video stream is done, the video is live on the landing page. And it's already on YouTube. And it's already in Facebook. In other words, <coughs> I am building an audience to my network. I am sponsoring my uh, monetization with my own products and services or my affiliates, and the ability for people to chat is all at my channel. That's why I like this dot .live strategy more than the other ways, because I'm, I'm a proponent. I've done Zoom. I've done Webinar Jam. I've done Webinar Geo. I've done GoToWebinar. I've used them all. This, to me, is the future. So let's go back to history a little bit. Live television and dot .live concept. When I was a kid in America... Sunday night at 8 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time or Eastern Standard Time meant Ed Sullivan. And Ed was live. Miss it? It was gone, in my mind, forever because it was live. And they did record it, unbeknownst to us, but they didn't rerun it. In other words, when it was live, if you didn't show up at 8 o'clock on Sunday night, you missed it. And, of course, I'm a huge Beatles fan. If you look here in my studio, you'll see a picture of the of the guys up there behind me 
There's the Beatles over there, and there's all kinds of stuff. So I am a massive Beatles fan. Love what they did. And I was there that night. In other words, 70 million people watched the Beatles live in the 60s. But they had a live audience. Why did they have a live audience? 70 million people weren't in the audience. They had a live audience to have feedback, to have energy. So even today, late-night television... Late night television like David Letterman, which I used to go watch the Letterman show be filmed just to study it, they, it was all about recording in front of a live audience for the interaction, the energy, the excitement, to get it done in 60 minutes. We're doing the same thing right here. In other words, this would be really hard if I felt like nobody was listening. But I know you're listening. I see Fiona. I see Vicky. I see Alexander. I see St. George. I see Alan. I see names here. It energizes me to get excited about this. It's the same concept. That's why the dot .live concept is more powerful than just recorded video. But here's the truth. The world wants television on demand, and they want it on all their devices. And binge-watching did not exist until streaming video online, but now it does. We're doing the same thing with the dot .live concept. You know, we had thousands of people register for clickseminars.live. But you know what? They're going to watch it when they want to watch it. I had so tickled that all of you folks came here to be here live. That gives me the energy and the excitement. But we know that most people are going to watch it later. And a lot of people, especially in the webinar space, are realize there's going to be a replay. Well, there has to be a replay. But at the same time, there's something about having an audience that makes the television go faster, be more exciting, keeps you pumped up, and you give a better performance. So it's the same thing we're doing right here. That's what we're making is live television. It's not a webinar. It's not a seminar. It's not a teleseminar. I'm calling it a liveinar. It is a seminar done like live television. It's the fact that when you watch television, uh, and because I'm running this all by myself, you know, I can switch it and I can make it a little more interesting but it, the main, main thing it is, is it's not just a slide and a voice. It's more television-like. Now, why do I think Dot .live is the future? And i got to say this. This is my partner, Hal Coleman, who's here. If I can do this stuff, anybody can. <coughs> that was my slogan with him. We got stories another day. In fact, Hal's going to be a guest on my dot live. You need to go check out our podcast and you need to listen to Hal. What a brilliant marketer Hal is. So let's talk about the dot live future. What is the dot live future? It's <coughs> this is the recipe. Let me get a drink, drink of water here if you don't mind. It's an easy to remember new URL. The dot coms are gone. You're not going to get. Uh, you're not going to get your name dot com. You're probably not going to get dot net, but dot live is available. It's amazing how many dot live URLs are available. That's why I own and I'm building Mike Stewart dot live. Your name is probably available. Where can you get names? Domainsyoucontrol.com. Domains you control is, is where I sell domain names. But here's something else that's a benefit. You rank higher for your live stream with a dot .live URL. If you type in Mike Stewart live stream, my Mike Stewart dot .live is number one in Google. So, if people can only if they can't remember my channel, they might be, go, "What where was Mike Stewart's live stream?" And they may think they're looking for the surfer guy. In fact, you can see there there's a picture of the surfer guy under me. I outrank him because I have the dot .live URL. I'm surrounding my live stream with archives and things that profit me. When, when I get done with a live show, I'm going to repurpose it as a podcast. I'm going to repurpose it everywhere, and I'm going to archive the show. In other words, my dot .live is going to have all my upcoming live scheduled shows, and it's going to have an archive so people can binge watch all my content, and they're going to hear my SERP jingles, and they're going to be able to know how to do business with me. Do you see how all this compounds, folks? I hope you do. And it all hinges on being able to make audio and video content. 
It's content that can be repurposed, like I said, as podcasts, as blogs. I transcribe it. It can become, become a blog post. It can become a Kindle book. It can become a free download or report. I mean, it just makes more content to, to multiply things, and it becomes shareable social media. And like I told you, and I'll tell you again, Tom was going to do ClickSeminars.com, but it became ClickSeminars.live after we met. List. I, I, what I love about Tom Wan is that he made a decision to go this path less than a couple of weeks ago. In other words, they had, they had to retool everything, but that's how much Tom believed in what I'm teaching. Now, if dot .live webinar is now the livenar, why is this so much better? Well, one, go to webinar and Zoom were great, yet they are not free to stream to YouTube or Facebook. Go to webinar is about 100 bucks a month doesn't stream to the social media sites. You're only kind of confined within their system. Uh, Zoom will let you for $40 a month Zoom uh, uh, stream to Facebook, but you can't embed it in your website. So they're not free. Um, only way, uh, uh, our way doesn't require a software download or a phone app uh, to view and is only a way to embed live stream at your URL. Because uh, what we're doing is we're use, we're streaming to YouTube, and YouTube will let you embed the stream on the landing page. And so, therefore, you're, you're getting, uh, in fact, just recently, Paul McCartney uh, did a concert in Grand Central Station, and they, zoom, they, they uh, uh, streamed it to YouTube, but he made everybody go to YouTube. He could have done that at paulmccartney.com. just baffles me how the music industry is not seeing how all this combination of things works. The replay or the rerun is instantly live with, with a buy button place, no waiting. You're going you're gonna to witness that here in a few moments with me. Uh, becomes content that can be indexed in all the search engines. You know, when you do a go-to webinar or you do a Zoom call, there, that's not content that's going to get indexed in the search engines. But when you build landing pages in WordPress and you embed your live stream there, that page gets indexed, which can bring traffic to the content. And people could start sharing your blog post or your page. And one of the things that I love about what we're doing, if you get the pro level, you can multicast to five locations. Tom didn't hesitate. He got the pro level of the software I'm going to tell you about in a minute that allows us to embed it in our website and uh, livecast it to five different locations. So we're essentially going to five places at once right now. Now, if you wanted to get started, you could get started going just to your website and YouTube for free. You can't record, because listen, this software has got to make some money, but let me tell you something. It's worth every penny, but you can get started and you can learn tonight for free. And I'm going to share you with, tell you how to do that. And it feel, doesn't this feel more like television? Doesn't it feel more like television when I can switch to the camera and I can look you in the eye and say, isn't this television? Isn't this not just a webinar? This is a live webinar. This is me sharing my screen, saying, I just look at this information, and then coming back and switching back and looking at you and talking to you. That's what you want to master. It's more like television because this is a not just a, a slide on a webcam like Zoom or GoToWebinar, and most people that do GoToWebinar don't even turn on their uh, uh, webcam, even though they could. Uh, it's a video switcher. See, what makes television is like, you remember that old television studio with all the monitors? It's switching between the cameras. It's like, and if you had guests on, you could switch between the guests. So it is the closest thing to video television for free. It's not static. It's slides. It's movement. It's moving to the slide. It's moving back to me. It's moving to making me smaller. But you're still hearing, and you're still seeing, and you're still learning. And it's making a video right now at the same time. But here's what you can use in um, um, the software I'm going to tell you about. You can put your SERP term jingles in it. You can play back videos. You can put music themes in. You can do pre-recorded videos. You can bring your logos in. In fact, I'm going to do that right now just for the benefit of, uh, of Tom. Here's Tom's logo. I brought it in. I, you know, you have the ability to, to share content. You have the ability to do a whole lot of lower third text. 
In other words, it is not a traditional webinar. It is live television. It's a live webinar. Now I want you to look at that. I want you to look at that right there. And I, I'm going to engage some people here in the chat. Tell me what you see on the screen. Tell me all the things you see on the screen there. Something I like. Tell me what you see there. Give me a one-word description of what you see. And then I'll tell you what I see. You know, it's going to take a minute, so I'm going to take a drink of water. But does anybody have any idea what you're looking at right now? Somebody says cheese. Yeah, there's, there's cheese there. Uh huh. Anybody else want to take a stab at it? What do you see? Oh, come on, Roger. Stuff. <laughs> Onions. Dinner. Let me tell you what I see. Chatter. I see a jingle. I see a product. Now, that is the ingredients. That's the ingredients. And, Jeff, that's not fair. Hal, Hal says food. Let me tell you the jingle I see. To all beef, paddle, special sauce, lettuce, cheese, pickles, onions on a sesame seed bun. To all beef, patty, special sauce, lettuce, cheese, pickles, onions on a sesame seed bun. That is a 50-year-old jingle. That is a 50-year-old jingle about one of the most successful products developed by the marketing geniuses at McDonald's. That is a Big Mac. See, the ingredients are available, but it takes a marketer and a jingle and creative to take ingredients and turn it into the most successful selling hamburger in the world. In fact, it's not the healthiest or the best hamburger, but you know what? I bought my kids a whole lot. Do you know that jingle was written in 1974? And people still my age remember two all beef patties, special sauce, lettuce, two beef patties, special sauce, lettuce, cheese, pickles, onions on a sesame seed bun became the product that has made billions called a Big Mac. So I'm going to do the same thing right now for you. Here's the secret ink ingredients of the dot live process. Just because you can get the, 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 the ingredients, it takes marketing and it takes creative and it takes a mentor and it takes somebody who knows, who's been down that path to help you make it happen. But here are the ingredients. I'm not going to hold anything back here. You need a dot live URL. If you're going to buy a dot live URL, go to Domains You Control. Don't go to GoDaddy. This is GoDaddy. It's just my GoDaddy. It's the same price. Okay. I got to put this up just because I just want to mess with Jeff. Jeff says Big Mac. Yeah, well, that's because I told him earlier today. Uh, <laughs> oh. The next ingredient is a WordPress website. Now, you can get a WordPress website, hosted website, for about 8 or $9 a month. And you can get them at Domains You Control. Sell them all day long. StreamYard. That's what we're using. StreamYard makes it happen. You can open up a free account. And I'm going to tell you how to join StreamYard here in a minute. We're using the $50 a month account because it's pennies compared to the value. But you can get started for free. So with a, uh, a $15 domain, a $9 hosting account, and a free StreamYard account, a free YouTube account, a free Facebook account, you can build your dot .live channel, just like we did at ClickSeminars.live, just like I'm doing at MikeStewart.live, and just like I'm recommending that you should do. Then how do you collect money? Well, you've got to make, you gotta make a product. You've got to make something. All the, all the speakers have been talking about what products and things you can make. And you can use a WordPress. This is one of the plugins I use, WP Simple PayPal Shopping Cart, and uh, you can use PayPal. To collect your money. So if you want StreamYard to get started, click go to joinstreamyard.com, joinstreamyard.com, and get it all today. If you've already got a WordPress website, there's the, you know, take a picture of this, come back and watch the replay, pause it here. That's the recipe. That doesn't make it a Big Mac. It takes time, it takes consistency, it takes 
making an effort to do the work. But that's what happens. That's how it works. So there you go. I just shared with you the secrets. So starting now is a key. You know, not getting around to it soon is procrastination. So I hope you're not procrastinators. I hope that you're willing to get started. So if your excuse is you, 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 know, you want to you wanna get around to it, there you go. There, I just gave you. Take a picture of that. There's your round to it. Now you have no excuses. The deal is get started sooner than later if you're going to do this kind of thing. You need to start making video. You need to know everything you need to do. You need to know, have all the resources to make it happen. So how do you start learning and implementing audio and video before your head hits the pillow tonight? How do you like that, Jeff? You need coaching. You know, success, development, knowledge, and learning and training comes from being coached. So here's my incredible offer. Now, I hope you feel like I've delivered on my promise. I went over all 12 of the key points. I shared with you resources. So with your permission, I want to tell you how we can do work together. And then we'll come to the end of this presentation. So number one, you have three choices right now, and you've got to be honest with yourself. I'm not going to ask you to tell me. That's between you and yourself. You, you can either do nothing and forget about it, and that's okay. I understand. You can try to learn audio and video marketing on your own, um, and I can tell you that's a hard road to hoe, but you could do it. Uh, but more importantly, you could take my incredible offer of resources and help. So, regardless of your choice, stay and hear the offer I'm making. I promise not to take too long with it, because quite honestly, if it's not for you, I, I understand, but I can't imagine it not being for you. You say you're here because, and you're watching this because you want to make a virtual living on the internet, like me and my colleagues do. You know, I, I thought when the uh, the lockdown happened that, uh, you know, that, that you know, I didn't know what the world was going to be like. And quite honestly, um, it's amazing. It's just people are at home, they're online, and everything I'm doing has increased. And it, ironically, uh, because we're in the pest control industry, um, people are home finding bugs, and all our pest control customers are just crushing it because people don't want to live with bugs, even during the lockdown. You have a burning desire to see, see it online with audio and video. Why don't you learn from me, who's been doing it for years with his best offer to date? You know, why would you want to go down a minefield of failure, blowing up on you, wasting your time and money, or worse, choosing to just give up and do nothing to build your business with audio and video? You know, I hope you believe that I'm the guy to teach you audio and video like nobody else you've seen or heard before. So, number one, you need to be podcasting. I sell this course called Podcast Install. I've sold it with affiliates over and over again at podcast uh, website for $197. It's how to set up a podcast. I don't have to go into a whole lot of do you, you, you know, there's, there's about 11 steps to set up a podcast, but I go through it step by step and it's, it's me holding your hand, making sure that you get a podcast. I have a podcast. Everybody should have a podcast. Number two, you got to learn to make video content. And the first place to learn to edit video is on your phone. And I teach iPhone and Android. Those are the only two phones out there. I love iMovie on the uh, iPhone. <coughs> it's an incredible software. It's a television production station. In fact, uh, you can see here, I can edit. I can add music. I can put voiceovers. You can you can edit anything in this program, and put it online. Lower third text. You just amazing what this what the software and Power Director on the Android does the same thing. I teach, and in fact, I also teach the Windows Surface, which is an amazing Windows video editor. So that's called Mastering Mobile Video. I sell that online every day for $197. These are not inflated prices, folks. This is what they sell for individually. This is a little program I taught people how to use their cell phone and be a salesperson follow-up for the local business owner. It's a cheap little program. I sell it for $20, bucks, but I'm throwing it in. You're not going to spend a whole lot of time on it, but it's how to use YouTube to do follow-up videos. There's a lot of companies out there that charge $20 and $30 a month to follow up 
with an email video. And you do it for, with your phone and Gmail and YouTube for free. So I teach you how to do follow-up videos with email. Um, building a membership site. I build all my membership sites on WordPress. I use a plugin for my good friend, uh, Tracy Childers, who happens to be John Childers' son. And Wishlist Member is what I'm an expert at. And I love Wishlist Member. It's basically taking a WordPress website. You know, my dot .live um, website is a membership site. And I'll be able to password protect and sell video content that I create there. So tablet mini video membership sites is step-by-step -step how to build a membership site with WordPress and Wishlist. Uh, being a domain reseller has been one of the best residual incomes for me. You'd be surprised how many people, you know, immediately don't know where to get a domain name or they just run over to GoDaddy and get a domain name. Be a GoDaddy reseller. I teach you the easiest way. I mean, I sell domain names to businesses every week. And I sell hosting and SSL certificates and email services and web storage. Become a local domain reseller or become a worldwide de domain reseller. Step by step, how to sell domain names to your market. It's a great business. It's, I'm essentially an affiliate for GoDaddy. And I get residual income every month. And then, of course... My good friend Hal Coleman and I, we have a membership site that's for the pest control energy, but, but it has a lot of great membership content in it, and we're selling that for $9.97 uh, to the pest control industry. But we'll give you access to that. It's called the Next Level Marketing Workshop. I'm partners on that, and Hal is a brilliant marketer, and you'll love what he has to say. Instant Video Blogger. How to do video blogging. You know, how to use WordPress and embed YouTube videos, even if you're not doing live streaming. It's a huge opportunity here, and I teach that in this course. And I sell that for 40 bucks. And then, of course, I was working on Dot Live Secrets, and Click Seminars came up, so I won't have this finished. But it's a good thing. I've been through a week of everything that can go wrong and everything that can go right, which is going to only make Dot Live Secrets coming in July a better course. Everybody that gets my offer is going to have available to them the opportunity to get Dot Live Secrets, which is going to show you everything to set it up, how to make it happen, how to repurpose it as a podcast, how to use repurpose.com, get you know, how to build an email list, everything you need to do to have a dot live presence. And of course, like I said, I'm going to be selling this with affiliates for $197. Uh, and it's basically based on the experience that we've been having here right here at Click Seminars. Now, one of the things that's been an, uh, uh, an incredible business for me last year and probably from now on is doing SERP jingles. Well, I will compose a, if you have SERP terms and you will, uh, and I'm a good singer or I can get one of the amazing talented singers like I normally do here in Nashville, that cost me a little extra. But, you know, I've had a couple of clients use my voice because I can sing. And uh, I will sing you a SERP term jingle that you can use in your podcast and your YouTube videos. Or we can, when we meet and we talk and we do our coaching, we can discuss who can sing it. But once, what it is is I've got the ability to put you a SERP term jingle together. And, you know, we did it for like bestsellerbuilders.com. Uh, in fact, if you went to SERP Music, you can listen to some more examples of that to know what it's all about. But I normally charge $2,000 for a SERP term jingle license. And I'm going to throw that in, the license to a jingle, uh, absolutely part of this project. And then, what can I do for you as one-to-one -one coach? Well, I mean, I sell my coaching at $300 an hour. If you went to MikeStewartCoaching.com, you can see that is my normal cost. And I build WordPress websites. I help create video sales letters. I teach iPhone and I, uh, Android video. I set up wishlist member sites. I do video editing, audio editing, screen capture video. I teach podcasting. I can help you produce a CD or audio CD. I, t I know autoresponders. I know how to configure and build your YouTube channel. Uh, and I can actually compose music. But there's a thousand things I do. You know, if you want to set up a one-to-one -one schedule with me, 
I'm going to give an hour of my time included with this offer. And of course, this is probably one of the most valuable pieces. As you can see over here, and I'll give you a quick little tour. We'll look at my studio here. I sit here and I compose music on my computer with all these instruments and the microphones. And so I have been writing music for my clients for years. And I own all the music. And, and in fact, that music, um, if you went to a place like Audio Jungle, which is one of the cheapest places in the world to buy royalty-free music, one of the things you want is royalty-free music. You, you know, if you don't um, use legal music, you can uh, get shut down. You can get your videos kicked out of YouTube. You can't use music you don't have the rights to. So I have composed over 800 tracks of music that I own the rights to. And in fact, I'll, sh I'll show you. And in fact, Fiona, who's here, Fiona the other night said, Mike, please put me out of my misery. Where did you get that wonderful Click Seminars music? Did you write it? Yes, Fiona, I did write it. It was one of the 800 tracks because we had so little time. Uh, I told Tom, I said, do you want to open and close the uh, Click Seminars since I'm the MC with some music? And so we, <laughs> we just picked one of the first or second things we found and you know, it's actually worked pretty well. I hope it works. You may like it, you may not like it, but that's the beautiful part about music. But let me tell you about that. If you look here, if you went to Audio Jungle, the average cost for a 60-second piece of music is $12. Do you realize 800 pieces of music that you can legally use is worth $9,600? And I'm going to give you access to all 800 of my music. So, Fiona, to prove that I wrote this, I, I put this screenshot up. There is my software where I actually wrote the music. Uh, and it was, it was a piece of music called Two Beat Drive. I, don't, I must have written it four or five years ago. I don't even remember when I wrote it. But what I did was I played drums, and then I played piano, and then I played bass, and then I played strings and violins, and then I played horns. And when I did all of that and mixed it, it became my piece of music. And that was uh, from, a, from a site I had called Two Buck Themes. So, like I said, you want royalty-free music like mine to be safe with your videos online. You use a piece of music you don't have the rights, you could get that sad YouTube base because they deleted your video and even make matters worse, they deleted your channel and you lose all your videos. Do not use music you don't have the legal rights to. So... This is, I, Tom said, make this so ridiculously crazy. I said, okay, I'll make it ridiculous crazy for you, Tom. Access to my Everything Online course. course. It's called the Mike Stewart Everything Club. What does that mean? I have people paying me a monthly fee to have access to everything, but everything I'm going to make from now on. So in other words, because this is Click Seminars, and Click Seminars means so much to me, <laughs> live, live life every day. Uh, it's access to everything that I'm going to make. And in fact, uh, you know, people that are in there now are going to get .live secrets. And I've got other ideas on the burner. So the point is, is that you will be in my fold forever and you won't have to pay me another penny unless you hire me as a coach or something like that. So that's my bonus number two, my, my Stewart Everything Club. Now, I want to play you, I told you about T, uh, CNN and Ted Turner. You don't know who this gentleman is, but in America, he is a celebrity. His name Bob Neal. He was one of he was Ted Turner's right hand man at CNN at the beginning. Uh, Roger may know Bob Neal, uh, but at any rate, I'm going to tell you what Bob had to say about me and give you this little testimonial. Hi, I'm Bob Neal. I've been very fortunate to have a long and successful career as a broadcaster. Primarily, people remember me for my work in sports at Turner Broadcasting, on CNN, with NBC, done basketball, NBA, football, pro football, college football, and had a wonderful career. Now I'm focusing this point in my life on 
teaching and sharing what I know from my years of experience. And recently, I've been discovering how the world of media is changing. It's become a digital age. And a man that I've known for a long time, but we met recently, has really helped me enter that digital world of the 21st century, Mike Stewart. Mike and I met long ago, but we re-met, and he has taught me all about podcasting, how to do it, how to make money from it, and the most effective ways to distribute it. As Ted Turner told me many years ago, it's most important to have good content. In other words, the oil. You can find a lot of pipelines. Podcasting is one of them. I'm so grateful that Mike Stewart has done that with me, and I hope you will too. I'm so grateful that Mike Stewart has taken the mystery out of podcasting for me. You should get his course in tablet podcasting today. I did, and you can see I'm smiling. Okay. Thank you, Bob. So I hope that gives you proof, but this is the last testimony I'm going to tell you. Just think about it. Tom, Jason, and Joe trusted me to oversee and MC the audio and video of Click Seminars. So I hope that you trust. I don't have to show you 20 other. I have 50 other testimonials. I'm not going to take your time with that. It, here's what it boils down to. If you want to do audio and video, you should call and take me on this offer. You should, you should get in touch with me. You should go get this offer right now. Let's review it. This is what I've got. How to podcast. Very, very important. Mastering mobile video. Easy follow-up video. How to build a membership site. Local domain reseller. Next level marketing workshop with me and Hal Coleman. Instant video blogger. Dot Live Secrets coming in July, hopefully no later than August. A SERP term jingle sung by yours truly with your SERP terms. Don't get what you want, you're going to get your SERP terms. An hour of one-to-one -one coaching to do whatever you want to do after you've gotten ready and gone through everything. 800 royalty-free tracks of music. And lifetime membership to my Everything Club. Without the Everything Club, that's a total real value of $13,712. And you probably guessed it by now. You can get everything right now at clickseminars.live forward slash Mike for $9.97 or a three pay of $3.47. So that's my presentation. That's my offer. I'm going to put my link up here right now. clickseminars.live forward slash Mike. I'm going to uh, make this smaller. And then, according to my clock, we still have folks on the line. And we've got maybe another five minutes here. So if anybody has some questions, I'll be glad to take some questions right now. But I hope you'll consider taking the time to become an audio-video marketer. I know I am. I know that my colleagues are. I know that uh, it makes a difference in your business. And everything that you need to know is available at clickseminars.live forward slash Mike. That's how we can get started. You'll get access uh, from uh, the Click Seminars team instantly to all of the, all of the uh, online stuff. And then, of course, when I have your email or your contact information, I will definitely um, connect with you and schedule a call, whatever we need to do to make it happen. Now, I know there's a delay, but I'm going to give you a second here if there's any questions that you have. Uh, I hope you will do uh, use music and use all the things. I hope you got a lot of uh, <clears throat> information today that you can go use today. So, I guess everybody is leaving to go get the offer. So, we'll give it a, a minute or so here more. Uh, I'll talk about the, the uh, presentation tonight. Uh, the presentation tonight is kind of a recap with Tom Waugh. Uh, it'll be some of the speakers to come back and just remind you of what, uh, uh, what you know, uh, the next steps. Um, it's all about uh, making sure that you move forward and take action and do something that will make a difference in your business. And um, then after that, 
click seminars is uh, done for now. But I feel very confident we'll be back. We'll be back very shortly with uh, we're going to do everything we can to make it better. Uh, Vicky says, thanks. Very interesting. I, I hope it's exciting and interesting to you, Vicki. So um, if we don't get any other questions, I'm going to probably play the theme music and just remind you that uh, you can watch this over and over again at Click Seminars. And in fact, I'll bring that URL over as well. This is how you can replay it and uh, All right, folks, thank you so much. Margaret says, what an amazing week. And I think it has been an amazing week. So everybody, uh, we will see you. It is now, according to my clock, uh, 3.40 uh, Central Time, which is 5.40 uh, East, uh, 4.40 Eastern Time. We'll be back at... Um, 6 p.m. Central, 7 p.m. Eastern, and uh, 4 p.m. Los Angeles time. I can only calculate U.S. times. Um, questions like that, uh, uh, St. George, I don't know, but what you need to do is you need to contact info at clickseminars.live. Another uh, suggestion is when you have questions that are very specific, you should go to the public Click Seminars Facebook group and post questions. I know Joe and Tom are uh, there frequently to answer those questions. And, um, okay, we have an answer here. There's the answer from Click Seminars. And that's how long these offers are going to be available. So uh, don't be on the fence, you know, as they say. Um, I know audio and video, you have, you have been witnessing Dot Live Secrets strategies all week. So what could you do with that in your business? What, what, could, what difference would that make in your business? So here's a good question. I like this one. Uh, what if you already have a domain name? Sure, you can do it on any domain name. I just believe that the benefits of making it easy... Uh, I couldn't get MikeStewart.com, so I wanted MikeStewart.live so that nobody, you know, hopefully you will never forget my name and where I go live. That's that's the benefit. But no, it works on any URL that you want to build it on. It's just that if I'm going to build a live streaming channel, I want the .live URL. That's why. Thank you, David, for that great comment. Uh, I try to do the right thing. I try to take care of my customers. I work very hard to make sure that uh, that people have success. So I'm, no, I'm going to excuse myself, and I'm going to play the theme. And so for the last thing I'm going to say here is go to the link and let me see here. Click seminars.live forward slash mic. And if you want to be an audio video marketer like I am and like Armand and, and pretty much every speaker here, I heard everybody over, over and over and over again this week say, make a video, put up a video. I'm going to tell you the nuts and bolts of what's involved with making the videos. You know, there's things that are just as simple as you don't want to aim your camera like that <laughs> simple little trick you want to you don't want to you don't want to be sitting like that simple little things you want a light shining on your face so you're not in the dark you want to frame your shot so that you're centered in the shot you don't want you want to look at the camera you know it was real tempting for me to constantly look at my slides my slides were over here on this monitor but i purposely wanted to keep looking at you. So these are the little tips that have nothing to do with technology. They have everything to do with making better video. So at any rate, uh, thank you, Arthur. Memory Lane, yeah, they, we're some of the old timers. And uh, still waiting on John Childers' video. As soon as John gets it to us, we will post it. So 
Just wanted to let you know that. So anyway, folks, this is Mike Stewart signing off from uh, ClickSeminars.Live, the network that brings you the training that will help you make more money and do better online than you've ever thought possible. So everybody, we'll see you in the next closing session in about two hours' time.